Sergio and Blake, make sure you don't go too wide on this. And action. Now your flight. Yep. Delay seven hours. And please remove those T-shirts or we won't allow you to board the plane. So I'm Joe and I play Simon. I'm S Simon and I play... <laughs> <laughs> I play on. Will McKenzie. I'm James and I play Joe. And I'm Blake and I play Neil. We nailed that. Yes. Oh, hello, hello. It's those little lovelies from the coach. That one's not so little. I think they're looking at us. And not in a weird, terrified, leave us alone way. Amazing. Now that the Inbetweeners is a worldwide movie sensation, uh, what is it about it, do you think, that's so appealing, that's, that's catching everybody? It was a hit TV show. You know, it grew into it. Like it grew into a hit TV show, right? It was the word of mouth that yeah, really made yeah. it. And now it's this smash hit movie. You I, know, think, and you're... I think. Yeah, it's, it's the writing, really. I, I, I mean, it's very. I mean, the themes are all very, very universal. I mean, four young lads that are just desperate to look cool in front of their friends and and, and get girls, and they're useless at both of those things. So the audience can very much laugh at them, but also I think they're very kind of lovable characters. So the audience kind of wants them to do well but knows that it never will go well for them and that's incredibly funny and and, and the writing reflects that and the writing is just just very very good I just poor clowns really that yeah. are nice to laugh at yeah. like there's nothing i mean we obviously don't take it seriously at all making it <laughs> <laughs> right and the whole the whole uh the whole point of the of the um program in the film is that it's a comedy and it's supposed to be fun supposed to be fun watching it, it's supposed to be fun making it, and it's, that's, we don't ever think, uh, there's no sort of any, there's no political <coughs> themes or anything yeah. that we're trying to say, you know, through our art or anything like that, we just want, want to make you laugh. And that makes it's it universal, right? Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. It's it's always very, teenage yeah. boys. Right? very unapologetic as well about how teenage boys genuinely are, and when you get four teenage boys in a room together that are trying to impress each other, the lengths that they will go to for that and the language that they will use, and as a show, we, we don't censor that at all. Right. We, we show it how it actually is. And, and that, again, is very funny and I think appealing for people to, to get an insight into quite a, a weird little world. <laughs> it's a bit over, is that OK? Not really. Excuse me, my prawns. Sorry, mate, I finished at six. Cheers for that. You don't have to fake me every time. All right, cool. You're so fit. Would you talk about the creators of the show and how they sort of found you guys and pitched the characters? How they kind of, how much did they shape the characters to you, or were they already? Kind of I think that place? happened over time. I think the first series, because I mean, it's, it's, I mean, Ian was very much based on the character, character, or Will was very much based on the character of the, the writer Ian. <laughs> And uh, and uh, Simon based on on Damon, and then I yeah. think Jay and Neil were like their friends or amalgamations of right. of, of their I know friends. who Jay was based on. I'm not sure on that. Yeah, no, so they just changed the name. <laughs> <laughs> I think they they did write it sort of around us as it as it right. went along. Like Simon, my character is a bit weirder than they wanted him to be because um, I couldn't play it how they wanted it. <laughs> <laughs> that was my so, question, is how much for the, because of the movie, how much swagger you brought to the characters, or lack thereof, oh, you know, that you brought to the... Oh, know, well, or, we always bring swagger. Don't worry about that. I hope, yeah. I hope what we bring is a kind of, a kind of an obvious, disarming lack of hustle. The TV happen. show is the four of us at school, uh, whereas the film is uh, the four of us going on... Uh, holiday after we finished our exams at school uh, was sort of the British equivalent of spring break I suppose and it's a it's very much a rite of passage in, in England that when you've done your exams you and your friends go off to a nearby European country they're sort of set up to uh, accommodate these sort of holidays so it is I mean they it's must like sort of hate themselves people, a bit yeah. for, for making it easy for these, these idiots to come over. But a bunch of British people went out, set up loads of bars and bad takeaways in a kind of one mile radius of these really beautiful European islands. Right. And now all the Brit young British people go there and just get completely drunk. And just trash the island. Then yeah, trash, yeah. trash the place. We are sort of talking about doing another film. It's quite challenging because obviously the lads' holiday is kind of a good self contained idea. and things become more disparate as people grow up. Right. And 
friends do stay together. I mean, I think one of the kind of well, sweet. I don't think these four would. No, so. you don't think so. You think well, they'd... I think they'd all go off and do their own thing. I think you know, we'd, there need, there we'd, be we'd be both be going to university. Yeah, we go to different universities. There needs to be some sort of uh, reason to get the four boys back together. I think there's nothing really to discuss. There's, it's just that we all quite like each other, and uh, I think we like the idea of doing another film together. Who knows? It might be something completely different. Maybe we'll do something. Four different characters. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, it shows. I mean, you clearly you guys like each other and get along, and that really shows in the movie. Yeah. So. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Blake, <laughs> notwithstanding. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Stop wasting time on Brave New Hollywood. Go and see the In Betweeners movie.